And we begin tonight with that manhunt underway for an accused killer who was mistakenly released from the Loudoun County Jail. Welcome into News 4 at 6, everybody. I'm Jim Adley. And I'm Erica Gonzalez. Stone Colburn had been in custody since July of 2021, accused of killing his brother's girlfriend. He was freed yesterday after the initial charges against him were dropped, but a new charge was placed. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey has been working to get answers about what went wrong here. She joins us live from the Loudoun Adult Detention Center. Julie? Well, Eric and Jim, for starters, this is a very complicated legal case, but already tonight there are some who are talking about who is to blame. It was about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon that Stone Colburn walked out the doors of the jail here, got into a car that was waiting for him, and drove off. Loudoun County Sheriff Mike Chapman telling me tonight he and his department at the moment focused completely on getting this accused killer back into custody. Anger? Upset? Disappointment? You know, Concern for our community, because where is he now? That was the reaction from Loudoun Commonwealth's attorney, Buda Bibberai, when she learned this morning an accused killer had been released from jail. Stone Colburn was charged with murder in July of 2021, accused of killing his brother's girlfriend. But a mental health evaluation found Colburn mentally incompetent, so he's mostly been confined at Central State Hospital, a mental health facility. He was brought back to the jail Thursday for a hearing. For a lot of complicated legal reasons, it ended with the Commonwealth's attorney dropping or null processing the original murder charge, then using an unusual legal method to create a new charge, concealing a dead body. It appears the jail saw the murder charge dismissed and released Colburn. Buta Bibberai calling that a mistake. She says Colburn should have been held on the new charge. What went wrong is that the, sh the uh, sheriff's office didn't abide by the court's order, which said, transport him to the jail and hold him so that he could answer to these charges. Sheriff Mike Chapman says his department is still sorting out what went wrong, but he says the priority with an accused killer on the loose is finding Colburn. And what's important is making sure that we find him and, and you know, we want to make sure we're putting all of our effort into that. This isn't a time to be, you know, cast in blame. It's a time to be working together to make sure that we find uh, Stone Colburn. Chapman says it does appear there was confusion in the jail, though, over paperwork. This was moved up from district court to the circuit court. I think it was unusual set of circumstances, unusual documentation. I think there was confusion in, in the way it was handled and miscommunication back and forth. But Bibberai says her staff had several conversations with jail staff about the plan to continue holding Colburn. Now, I also contacted a relative of the young victim in this case. She tells me that the family was aware of Colburn's release, but they don't have any further comment at this time.